Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're gonna to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're gonna be looking at the Eververse armor. Tess finally sold the last piece, which was the helmet this week. So if that's the last piece you need, then go scoop it up. Unfortunately, uh, in the past, she's never really sold all the armor again. So if you did not pick up anything, then unfortunately you're gonna to have to buy it uh, from the Eververse through real money because you have to get these weekly. But I got it for everyone and I really, really like it. But at the same time, I'm just kind of like not sure if I like it. It's so weird. It's very weird. But let's talk about it. Uh, let's look first look at the shaders that it can take. I think the shaders, it's pretty cool because as you guys can see, the like constellations are not showing up on certain shaders. But on like this one, it's going to show up and it's pretty cool. I think I, I think I like that. Just because like with this one metro shift it's a very popular one you don't see the constellations but like on something like this one the carminica which is one of my favorites you can so it's pretty cool it's definitely going to be really good combined with like the cartographer i think it's called this one right here it's definitely going to be cool with this one because that one has constellations as well like right there so the only negative is the fact that the cartographer, I think it's called the cartographer. The cartographer set has gold trim that can't ch be changed while this one, everything can be changed. So it would be cool if they went back and just made that shaderable because I just, I don't like it, but overall I really do like it. So let's look at each individual piece first. The helmet, I really don't care. Actually, let's switch out the helmet so we can actually see the helmet and not just you know that so let's do that one so the helmet itself oof, it's platey damn i did not know it was gonna be like that don't know if it's gonna be cool with other pieces of armor that looks cool and obviously this takes shaders really well this is probably one of the better shade or one of the better armors that shades really well from the ever store which makes me really happy. Let's go to the gauntlets, which again, in the previous uh, armor sets that we've gotten, gold trim like this would not be able to change uh, color. But thankfully, the person who who's in charge of that is not there because you can't change the color. Uh, I very much appreciate that because now I can actually use this armor in pretty much anything I want without being annoyed of the fact that this won't have something that I can't just change the color to. And again, I think the it takes shaders really well, especially since some shaders do turn off the constellations, which is really cool. And I definitely think this is one of the stronger armor sets for from Eververse. The chest piece has a slight glow up here, which is cool. I wish this this was more around the armor itself, like around here would have been cool, around like just like any shape would have been cool because this this. This glow is really cool and it actually does shade her if I remember correctly. You can see a slight shade of red right there. Let's go to a different one. Again, you can see the slight shade of red. And then this one, you cannot see anything at all. And then here you can see a slight shade of blue. This one is the one you can see the most, the gold, which is cool. So yeah, I, I'm very, very happy that we got that but it's so small that i wish we could see it in more pieces of other of the other armor sets and i do like the chest piece i just don't know if i'm gonna wear it on my hunter the legs which is i like it but at the same time i don't it's really weird again i'm i like this armor set but at the same time i don't see myself ever using it aside from like maybe the boots maybe because i can tell you right now i don't like the cloak i I don't like it at all, but I do like the I do like this because this is the shader I'm wearing this season, and I definitely like this a lot. So last but not least, it's gonna be the cloak, which again I am not the biggest fan of. I think it looks a little too like it's it's honestly it's the bottom right here. I get what they were trying to do, but I feel like they should not have connected this bottom right here. I think that's the biggest thing that bugs me about it. But other than that, I mean, it's fine. I know people are gonna love it. Again, I just don't know if I'm gonna like it. Cause like, don't get me wrong, this does look cool. Like all that metal looks fire, but <sighs> I don't know. We'll see. So let's go to the Titans. And for the Titans, we have the 
uh, bull, I guess this would be. Because the last, the hunters was basically the scorpion. This one's the bull, I'm guessing, because of this. And I think the helmet, like, let's be real, the helmet is the strongest piece of this. I will definitely be wearing the helmet. It's really fucking cool. I think it's probably one of the better helmets that the Titans have gotten. Unfortunately, my Titan is a female, so it's not going to look super bulky, especially the arms. But on the males, it does look bulky as fuck. And I would love to make a male, but at the same time, their, their shoulders are just way too big and like cartoonish to me. So let's let's look at how everything shaders first, and then we'll really get into it. Uh, the fact that you guys have fur is already killing my soul because I would love fur on my hunter. Ooh, there's no bright here. It does look cool though. It looks really cool. The amaranth. Yeah, this looks good. Let's go to the metro shift. This looks really cool. So that's really cool. It, this it basically turns off the eyes as well. It's really pretty weird. Let's go to the Pyretic Clash. Damn, I did not think this was gonna look this good. This looks pretty good. And then last but not least, Carminica, which is again one of my favorites. That looks super. F okay, this might be the shader that I use for, with this armor set because it looks really good. Holy fuck! All right. So let's look at each piece individually. Again, this helmet is like almost majestic. It's so cool. It's like easily, easily one of my favorite pieces of the whole set. And I am talking about Titans, Warlock and Hunter. I think this is just so cool. You know, I would have been very happy if the Hunters ended up getting like a scorpion helmet or like just something like that. There's just, it doesn't, you don't really see anything like this when it comes to the Hunters. Which is why it's like not one of my favorites this however looks super fucking good the arms i wish were a little bigger uh i get what they're going for it looks cool i just think i may have probably just would have wanted like some bulls out coming out i think that would have been a lot cooler and then like have the noses like coming out smoke coming out of their noses would have been really cool but i'm not part of the designed team so what the fuck do I know? But shaders really well is like like we already saw. It looks really cool, really cool. The blue, ooh, that that blue was weird. And my only like so my only annoyance with this armor, and I see it in a lot of Titan armors. I don't know what it is. It's the discoloration of the armor. This armor has that. There's a few other armor pieces that has this, which. I don't understand why they have this, like the discoloration. Uh, I think this one has it too. Has it somewhat, but this changes the full color, so it's fine. But I think this one has it as well. It, I don't know what it is, but Titans get a lot of discoloration for some really weird reason. So chest piece is not my favorite. I'm definitely gonna tell you right now, it's not my favorite. Uh, some of my favorite aren't uh, chest pieces for the Titan is like stuff like this where it really bulks up the back and protects your neck. That does not do that. And I know people are gonna tell me, but it changes the, it covers the neck. It's fur, uh, which is fine, but it just looks small. But again, I am on a female, so that's probably why. But it's not bad. It's just, I feel like it would have been cooler if, it would have been cooler if it just felt more beefy since you are basically a bull but whatever the boots on the other hand i actually do like because you get fucking hooves for fucking boots bro it's cool i like it that's fire that's super metal and again it shaders really well i love that the constellations are at the like under the armor set and not at, on the actual armor padding i really do appreciate that because it just looks cooler that way and again it's just i think the i think the helmet and the boots are probably the strong strongest aspects of this armor set because the mark i i really do not care about the mark the mark is like what the fuck ever quite honestly uh if they really wanted to wow me they would have had like a really like not smooth but something like let me see if i can find, yeah something like this 
They could add something like this and at the end of all of this kind of combine it together to make an oxtail. That would have been cool. Or just have an oxtail around the waist. That would have been cool as well. Ultimately, I think this is the strongest ever armor for the Titans. But I, I, would, I would do tweaks to it personally. So let's go to the Warlock. So last but not least, we have the Warlocks that are looking like something i don't know what the what the animal they're supposed to, it's probably a bird because these look like feathers but again this weird discoloration this is usually on the titans not on the warlocks but if i remember correctly the this weird like almost flaky pattern does not show up on the armor so let's look at the shares to just double check so see this looks cool this looks really cool i think isn't this the arm isn't this the shader i'm using in it probably uh, the iron to steel, which is one of my, Oh, you can see it's flaky. That's weird. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of the flaky, uh, texture. It's just weird. Especially when this armor is supposed to be like real as fuck. It's just kind of like weird. That's weird. But again, iron to steel, one of my favorite shaders. That looks fucking cool. Oh shit. It almost looks like, uh, an ether, ether, etheral whatever it looks really cool this this is cool this is cool i will give you that it, this does look cool but not all shaders look like that so let's look at this one this looks good i like this a lot this definitely looks cool a little basic but still cool damn look at that sheen yeah this is cool this is definitely cool i'm really happy that they that all these armor sets take shaders really fucking well because like that's like really the biggest problem of the shaders or not even shaders of the armor sets is the fact that they don't take shaders really well most of the time discoloration back here too weird but this i think this shader has a, that problem so let's look at them individually and then we'll give you my final verdict so i'm guessing this is supposed to be a bird dog like let me see what the name is celestial i think yeah celestial cover it looks cool it's just warlocks always get this type of like helmet where it's like an opening in the front and then just designs which is not a fair thing to say considering that just it's it's okay i think it's fire but at the same time it's something a warlock would have if that makes any sense uh the arms are usually always pretty pathetic in my opinion when it comes to just warlock arms in general i think i think they need to go back to destiny 2 where the arms not only covered your like the forearms, but it also covered your your arm and your shoulder. Like it went up to here, depending on which uh, which which armor arm set you use. So I think they need to go back to that because I just don't think the arms change enough for anyone to really give a shit about it. But that's just my personal opinion. And then the chess piece, honestly, like just one of the better chess pieces that the Warlocks have. It's really fucking good. Like just, just seeing this armor set is just making me think like, oh my God, like what can I, what can I really do with this? Also, I just realized these are Pegasus. So the Warlocks got Pegasus, man. See, now that I see that it kind of makes sense. Well, not kind of, it makes sense the the feathers makes sense my only gripe now is the fact that it could have like they could have had wings coming out from here you could have had a horse up here it i don't know i can see i can see that these might be the wings and then like this might be the body but i just would have preferred if the wings were kind of outstretched because, I mean, it, it's called the Celestial Armor Set. Just make it go buck wild. Why, why not? So let's look at the Warlock's chest or er, the boots. Let's switch to something that's actually going to show us the boots. I think it's this. No. That's fine. Because I just want to see the like at least one of the boots. So here is the boots, which looks cool definitely looks cool i appreciate that the constellations are at the bottom because if they were up here that would make no sense considering most of the chest piece or most of the chest pieces cover the groin so i appreciate that devs i, I thank you for that but 
I think I think the boots suffer from the same problem from the arms. It's just that it's not distinct enough for me to give a shit when it's literally just a chest piece that really defines a warlock's look. So unfortunately, just not it's not it. But last but not least, let's look at the bond. And I think the bond is really cool. I I'm really happy that they made it look different. And it's not just like wings and stuff. There's an actual horse there with holographic wings, which means you can change the color of pretty much everything. They're like this looks really cool. I do like that. I think I, if I'm being quite honest, if I was thinking about like redesigning this, I would have it where the wings were outstretched like this and the horse would have like just the head coming out. But again, this is way better than anything I thought they were gonna come up with. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know if you got the armor sets. Currently the Titans for me are like probably the coolest ones and then the warlock and then the tie and the hunter i think the hunter just like it just does not look like it's designed from anything unfortunately like we're gonna go back to the hunter just because why not so we're back at the hunter and like there's just almost nothing to indicate that this is a scorpion and that's me like just from the tail from this tail thing just thinking like this has to be a scorpion because there's nothing else there's like nothing that's like kind of my gripe with this is that it just does not look like an animal and the other two really do so uh unfortunately devs i just don't i'm not the biggest fan of the hunter but again the, whoever designed the the titans and the warlocks those are really good so again let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below i have a bunch of videos coming out i still have to do the guardian games one because i was on vacation the Guardian Games one, the Hunter, Titan, and Warlock reviews are going to be coming out for from for a season of the Hunt, and then we'll have other games. So be safe, guys, and I'll see you guys.